All right, everybody, this is Dr. Shea with Align Life Chiropractic and Wellness. This is video eight of 10 keys to lifetime wellness. Today, I wanna to answer the question, how does chiropractic fit into this concept of a wellness lifestyle? So to answer that, I wanna go back to some of the key components that we discussed earlier, which is this concept of, if we wanna create a healthy human being, we have to create healthy behaviors. We have to create a healthy lifestyle. Our lifestyle includes how we eat, how we move, how we think, and our structure. So obviously, from a chiropractic perspective, structure ends up being an enormously foundational element of the chiropractic solution for people. That being said, I also want to make sure that I stress the idea that chiropractic also provides an essential component to the movement category of eat, move, think, and structure. So let's talk about how that works. So if you're trying to be sufficient and pure in the category of movement, there's really two or three things that are really required. Number one is you've got to have good form, right? When you're moving your body, you've got to have good form. Another way of thinking of this is you've got to have a good posture, okay? The other part of this is we need to have global movement. That means our entire body moving through full ranges of motion as much as we can. So typically in the modern world, this is accomplished through exercise. The other part of movement that chiropractic helps to provide for people is what's called segmental movement or segmental joint movement. So unfortunately, when we have poor postures over a prolonged period of time, or we have an acute trauma, an injury, oftentimes the bones of the spine or the bones of the body can become misaligned in their placement and accordingly, we see that those joints become very rigid, very stiff, and very tight. In that environment, we lose movement from those joints. And accordingly, the body ends up causing breakdown at those areas because movement is a required nutrient in order for your body to be healthy. So we always say motion is like lotion, right? So the more you move, the easier it is for you to continue moving. Now, when it comes to being pure and sufficient in the category of movement, if we're getting great form and great posture, if we're getting out and we're exercising on a regular basis, and we're providing a chiropractic adjustment to be able to restore the normal, healthy alignment and position and range of motion of those spinal joints and joints of the body, now we've really been able to create the ideal version of how movement goes in the body. So not only would that help to avoid things like degenerative disc disease, degenerative joint disease, or arthritic changes, but it also helps to be able to knock down inflammation loads in the body. It helps to get rid of nerve stress in the body. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in the next video. But from a movement perspective, chiropractic provides not only a structural key component, but it also provides a movement aspect that can't be gotten anywhere else. Keep in mind, even if you were to go and provide yoga for your body, or maybe you do running or Pilates, or you swim, or you ride a bike, or you work out doing like F45 or CrossFit or Orange Theory Fitness, all these types of programs are fantastic for global movement. However, if you still have segments of your spine that are misaligned, that are not moving, those areas are still not getting the requirements that they need, and they'll still cause breakdown. So many times I see athletes or not even athletes, just individuals who are very active in their lifestyle that are incredibly healthy in general, but we look at their spine and there's still breakdown there. And the question is, well, is this due to age? And of course the answer is no, because the areas above and below these degenerative changes are the exact same age as the segment that is degenerating. So ultimately this comes down to repetitive body position habits and trauma. And how well can we create a healing environment so that we don't end up having breakdown in those areas? So this is sort of a part one of how chiropractic fits into the lifestyle of someone who is looking to have long-term wellness. Next video, we're going to go in a little bit more of the neurology. So be on the lookout for that next week. We'll see you guys next time.